Oh, that's badly glitched. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And the garage tours continue. The garage review. The garage. What are we gonna keep? What spaces can we make? Kind of thing. And we, are, yeah, I'm not doing anything here with the with the bikes, but we might as well review them. You know, be consistent. But what we're doing here, you know, I'm not. Just, you can't put any cars here. Just bikes. Bikes are pretty well established. That I have the ones I'm gonna use. But let us ponder. We've got, of course, the original Hakachu. Not the drag, but the Hakachi, which was uh, such a mainstay bike for me for a long time. I have to take this back out again just to see how it does. Like, you know, it's still just not quite as good as a baddie, but... I have a baddie somewhere, but... There's a guy here now. This is this is the new deal. There's a Hakachi drag over there to fix, but we haven't done that yet. Speaking of Hakachi drag, there you go. My very, you know, these are still in the old Steelers livery kind of thing, and... A little bit of gold over there. It's a good look. It's a good look for them. This is the Nightshade, I think. Nightshade? Nightblade. There you go. Nightblade is actually... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to update this with a slightly brighter paint scheme. I was shooting for uh, uh, to copy a bike called the Nightmare, which is a much wilder bike than this, that uh, a buddy of mine who builds bikes built. I have a, I have a picture of that someplace I can, I've had on the on the, the videos before of me sitting on it. That's the best that I can do with it. I don't ride motorcycles. But, um, don't got the skills and the time to scrape on the road. I'm just, you know, it's it, one of those things. I'm not, I, I don't trust myself in my, my skills well enough to not be severely injured on a motorcycle. So, but it was, it's a beautiful bike. I tried to make this one kind of look like it and it's not right enough and I'm going to have to fix that at some point. But that's a keeper. The Lifeguard Blazer. This is one of those you had to steal off the road and it was a pain in the buns. Is it even insured? It is insured. The Blazer Lifeguard. I do have the other, the, the yellow Lifeguard truck too. So I, got, I, I can be Baywatch if I want to be. I can completely go Baywatch in GTA. And why would you not want that, right? Now, is this also a Blazer? It's the, no, the Dinka Varus. There you go. The Dinka Varus. What was this? Was this a Cayo Perico thing? I think it's still available. I'm not real sure. It's there. It looks cool. It's just a it's just a decoration here in the, the motorcycle club. You gotta have at least one lost bike, and even though you can just grab more of them, you gotta have just a stolen lost bike in your bike collection. Don't you agree? It's just in this one. I think this one has been duded up a little bit. I have fixed it up, so it's a fully fully upgraded. Is it insured? Yeah, it's insured. Now this one, the the PCJ six hundred, that's just more of a throwback bike to you know the old days of GTA. It's a, this is like yeah, this is an old bike from the old days. Not really a lot of use for it, but it's it's here. I'm fond of it. I'm fond of the looks and how it just sits there, and it's 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 here. It's like a safe here in, in my garage. It, it's a nice little thing. Sovereign. I've done a lot of videos with this. A lot of 4th of July stuff. Oh, it's, a much, it's very much a keeper. I think it's only available certain times. I don't think I can get it. Now, I, I don't know. Everything's, it's so hard to think of what's available now anyway. So you tend to keep stuff anyhow. BF 400. That's an important vehicle. I mean, this is again, but still probably your best go-to as far as off-road stuff if it's allowed. Although there are some things that you know are competitive, especially if you're going to get rammed off the road a lot. I mean, this is uh, it's still good. It's it's still you know, thing. and it's a, a very high top speed bike if you are using it on a regular course. So I mean, regular motorcycle race, not a bad choice. But we're keeping that. The Akuma, I mean, the Akuma is just one of those legendary bikes that every so often is just still competitive. It has so much acceleration, and it's just so good. You know, that gets kept, too. And this one's in um, Wheel Warrior colors here. You know, so that's the bike collection. And so we're going to... Zip, I'm going to do a couple of the smaller garages in this one, just, just to do the smaller garages. And we're going to leave some of the bigger things to their own videos. So we'll just we'll just warp out here.
And the vehicle warehouse, which obviously the stuff that's randomly scattered around looks cool. And it's mostly stuff I just keep here so that I only get high-end cars. But I do have personal vehicles, of course, down here in the basement. We should review that. <clears throat> All right, the Blazer Aqua. Done up as, in the same colors as it was on Top Gear. As These things exist. They really are. You know, ATVs that go on water. that All the wheels fold up and stuff like that. And Jeremy Clarkson raced it. One but lost, that kind of thing. So I've got this. This is, of course, uh, the Ukuk 2000, or whatever it's calling it. The, uh, my Ruiner 2000 with the uh, the crew uh, striping and the crew badge. I don't remember the last time I took this out. I really don't. Let's put crew wheels on it. Don't you think? Would that work too? That would, yeah. Oh, it's all good. We've got ourselves a technical aqua. Again, I have no idea what I would use this for, but these are the only things that can go in this I think in this uh, garage. So there's no there's no gaining parking down here. So these are all a special special vehicle parking. So filling this up is as good as you could do, and we've got ourselves an aqua. The armored but yet not so armored boxville that you can't even put bulletproof tires on. It's, it's a shame, really. It's, it's just a shame. Hard to shoot tires, maybe, but it's just, uh, yeah, just shame of a vehicle. But we have one, and I'm, I'm glad we have one. There, there is some work you can do with it, in theory. This is what the out oh, something. What the heck is it called? It's not even coming up. The Outlander. Does it say if I get in it? Wastelander. Okay, there you go. Wastelander is kind of a neat little off-road thing if you like bouncing around and looking bizarre. Can't put a vehicle in it, which is kind of like, what's the point? But hey, we're here. There's some, some work. All these vehicles... For a day, all these vehicles have... Um, the one thing in common is they all provide some uh, VIP uh, work missions that... So they have something to add to your ability to play the game. Phantom Wedge. Look at this big Phantom Wedge here. The Phantom Wedge gets more use than a lot of things in here because it will bounce things around rather nicely. Still, I'm mostly dry using this one. I'm using the mission one for uh, the gun running sales, but that's, that's why I mostly drive a Phantom Wedge. But, you know, there, there's been several situations, especially with, you know, some Cayo Perico pep, prep and stuff. Cayo Perico pep? Cayo Perico prep, where it comes in handy. So it's nice to have this. Oh, the Rocket Voltic. So overshadowed by the other Rocket cars. Still, this might be one of the first ones to get to see a later plate. Which I mostly use with uh, with Rusty Jack, but still, it's here. And the Wedge car. The Ramp Buggy. Again, it's 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 just something nice to have. I think this is crew uh, crew over chrome, so it's shiny and blue still. If you're gonna go, if we're gonna do a complete asset um, review here in this series, then we might as well. What goes in here? So there you have it. Next, the Chumash Bunker, which, yay, look, we have, like, golf carts. All right, moving on. No, I'm just kidding. It's, I wouldn't bring here just for the golf carts or for the, the excess weapons truck. No, here we have, we do have the, uh, the anti-aircraft gun. Boom, 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 boom. Most powerful gun in the game. Pound for pound here. And we have the MOC done up as, I think it's R.I.D. Optimus Prime. That does look very much like, you know, that truck arrangement. 
I mean, the, even the way these, these kind of things extend out look like the, the little side boxes where you can put your mini-cons. But that's not all, because if we go in the back... Do, 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 do... That's right, we've got vehicle storage. We convert this over to an actual parking space as opposed to a place where you can modify vehicles because we have the Avenger for that. And this is a place to park the Stromberg, which I still have. I have the Stromberg. I know it's been supplanted by the likes of the Toreador as the main underwater go-to for, you know, just because of the rocket thing. This thing. I believe this takes more hits. It's got better armor. It's still got the, you know, the best missiles. It's still a good car, and it's really is. Like, does this have the Spy Hunter plate? It should have the Spy Hunter. We should put the Spy Hunter plate on this one. I mean, it's a, it's, it's painted up to be the Spy Hunter. It's got missiles. It's got machine guns. If only it had oil slick. And smoke. That'd be awesome. And moving right along as we exit out the back eventually. Hello. How much, uh, yeah, we're still building here. We're not ready to sell yet, but not too much else to see here vehicular-wise. And the hangar. You know, the hangar's problematic. Because it's probably the most limited as far as part. You, know, you, you can really run out of space here. You can't see everything. Yeah, you got your stealth. Is it the stealth annihilator? What do they call it? Something along those lines. Haven't really used that, but we've got it. Just put this new, uh, this new Sprunky Cola livery on for some of the Christmas videos. I don't know if I'm keeping it here on the, the ride do. It doesn't look bad. Got ourselves a Nakoda. That. It's pretty quick. The fact that the doors are broken and the runs the wrong colors and eh, it's it's all it's a little bit disappointing. Kanata. Yeah. I do love this one. This is my homage to uh, you know, what, was it? what was it called? Tales of the Brass Monkey or something along those lines or the gold no, it's a golden something. Anyway, it was a show when I was a kid. I'll have to, I'll have to look it up. You know, correct myself in the editing here, but there's there's good things here. We got Blue Thunder over here. We've got you know your Russian Christmas plane. You <laughs> yeah, Power Glide. I'm glad they've kind of re rebalanced the guns a little bit, but I think that's still still a better gun. Uh, cool, this is, you know, one of the ones that probably gets used on a regular basis. That's, that's you know, the ability to be invisible. Very nice. On, on radar, at least. And then if we go over here. Look at storage. So we've got the ultralight. We still have a Hydra. Which I may, I may get rid of the Hydra. Just because we could pull it in from... We can pull it in from Pegasus, and it's taking up a parking space. I, I, if I need parking, that's one that'll go. Volatile, that's... That's funky, and big, and, and lovely. And Cargo Bob is another one I could just you know, reduce to just being a Pegasus, but it is nice to be able to pull one in the way you can as a, per, as a personal vehicle. That's kind of an important piece of equipment. Alpha Z1 and the Pyro, they're nice to, to, to fly. Starling's kind of interesting. But, like, nothing compelling here that I would use them. The Cuban 800 is the freebie that you get when you get the uh, the hangar. Guy, I just have to keep it because, hey, it's a freebie. What the heck? See, I don't know if that, that's tied to any workload, but I think you can... But it's something that the game calls upon, so we're just going to leave it there to be safe. The Sea Breeze, that's a nice little plane. It has its its kind of unique things where it can kind of go fishing. It can go, it can put that in water pretty deep, you know, before anything happens to it. And of course, the Rogue, which is another good, you know, small plane to have. It's but I'm not I'm not bringing them all out for a display. We're just gonna these these are the ones that are more based on based on 
character kind of stuff. Right, the name of that show is really irking me. Hold on a second. How was it far if it was Tales of the Gold Monkey? They had a plane like this. It, it, it wasn't a VTOL, but... It's kind of based in, like, around the World War II-ish kind of era. Very Indiana Jones-ish. Good show. Now, you'd think something as big as the facility would get its own... Its own video. But, I mean, it doesn't really afford you that much parking. There's only so much parking in here, you know? So we could buzz through this pretty quick. I mean, obviously you got the Avenger, which I, I'm not trying to keep the dollars on it much. I forget why I even did that, but it is there. We have our, our fully upgraded now with the Mercenaries contracting Avenger. So we could do all of that. Like, there's so much room down here. You'd think we'd get more parking spaces, but we don't. I could throw some stuff on the side. I mean, there's no question about it. Got our, our uh, Christmas-themed and uh, crew of a chrome thruster. Got ourselves a nice little half-track over here. That's a keeper. Beachcomber! We've got a Beachcomber doom themed Doom Buggy. I have to take this out more. You know, the front gun on this thing is really devastating, especially if you hop over, if you're doing some of the gun running stuff. It's a, it's a way more powerful gun, you know, I just, if you had somebody just with you, cruising around with this, you could be, you could really mess people up. It's, it's an impressive vehicle. I like this one. Kinjali tank. And the only reason I don't upgrade the gun is so I could have more candy canes on it. That's why it hasn't got the electric, electromagnetic rail gun. I don't really, don't really miss it all that much. It looks so cool. Again, it's crew, crew over chrome. With, which ends up being a really interesting mix in this light. Because you see some of it and some of it you don't. It's just pure... It's weird. That's a, that's one thing about that, you know, kind of color glitch sort of thing is that the only real glitch that I regularly did is that it does give you some interesting uh, some looks to the vehicles. <sighs> Never used this. You know, the, the, H, the APC. It doesn't even have a great, great name. It is very good. Again, you need you need a, a gunner to really take advantage. You could hop over, you could kind of stop and then shoot and then set. But it's a uh, it is more useful if you're shooting on the on the run. I have to take some of this stuff out more. I, for, I forgot I even had this in a Christmas livery. I could have used it in the Christmas stuff. But uh, this is kind of you know it's just a Granger. But it's one of those that attacks you during one of the missions. I, f I forget which one. There is, there is a contact mission where these guys come after you and you kill them all. I just took it home and kept it. I have a couple of these. But it's, it's like your standard government issue, Granger sort of thing. And I kept it just because. It was... Uh, can we ensure that? Yeah. We got it from a mission. I could probably get rid of this if I really needed to. But what am I going to use it for? But it seemed like the kind of thing you'd have in a facility. You know, that kind of thing. It's like, oh yeah, here's where our get the FBI guys and go out and do FBI kind of things. Or NSA or secret government or non-government or BlackRock kind of. Is BlackRock, is that the company that does? I don't even know. Maybe not BlackRock. I mean, I'm mixing it up with somebody else for, for legal purposes. Over here, we have a Chernobog, which I get. I think is another one of those things where I could have a lot of fun with this and just don't. I just don't get a chance to bring it out. You, it's really amazing when you're ramming into things. It just blasts stuff all over the place. The missile system, not great. As far as I know, it doesn't track real great. You know, if they had better missiles on this should have the best missiles. It should really be... This should be devastating. But it's not. So, it's here. This is a much better car that doesn't get, you know, the, this this armored Tampa. This does a lot better, especially in contact missions and stuff like that, than you'd think. And it's, a, it's really, the guns are really devastating and all that. It's got so many weapons. Like, I don't know why. Every time I look at it, I think, why don't I use this car more? I've got to start using this car more. I like it. But it's up here and you forget about it. And 
the original white elephant in Wheel Warriors colors here. This is, again, it's been completely, I mean, completely supplanted by the white, the, the pickup version, the custom pickup white elephant that I, use, I have down in the main, uh, you know, well, you'll see it later when we do. Well, you've done, have we done that video yet? It's in, another, it's in the, uh, the Maze Bank. But yes, we did do that one. I'm trying to remember when these are coming out and what order they're coming out in. But the, uh, that, the, the pickups got mines and stuff like that and a gun. This, uh, this was used heavily, though, for a long time. It's a very good vehicle, and I'm keeping it. Snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. How are you doing? That's good. It seemed like you had to have a Duke of Death in a facility. It's, just, it's one of those de rigueur things. Again, I should get rid of it. I have too many Duke of Deaths. I'm not going to, because, well, you can look at it. I mean, just, just look at it. I like this car. It's just, it is what, it brings joy. So, this... Doesn't necessarily. I forget why. I think I bought this as part of like a FOMO fear thing. I thought it was gonna go away. Is it useful? I don't even think I have the uh, the second. Uh, I don't think it's upgraded. Like we got this to get this. Yeah, the, the what the the riot vehicle is that what it's called? What does it even say? Does it have a name over? It doesn't even have a name. It's just parked off in the corner in shame. It's really, you know, it's just a glorified fire truck. I don't even think that the Ram kicks stuff all that well. We'll have to take this out and experiment with it at some point. Is that the last thing? I mean, with all this space. I realize you need a good amount of space to load up the the uh, the Avenger so you can get it out. But, I mean, come on. There's a lot of space here. We should have had more parking. There should have been more. Of course, the Pendow's Garage, all of these vehicles have been won off of the podium. As a result, I don't think they have any value. Which is kind of kind of a mean thing to do because you didn't pay for them. You're not getting anything if you sell them. So you didn't really... You, you've won use of the car, but it doesn't have any value. It's got the stigma of... Having been a one vehicle, I try to keep them mostly as they were on the podium. This is this is my second, um, what you call it? Yeah, my Slogan GT. But you know, this is the one I won. It's got no value to sell, so you sell the other one and then repaint like this. Yeah, I, I end up just keeping two Slogan GTs because I like the green one. I had that one first. Yeah, yourself a pink Lamborghini here. This is the vehicle that you get, the armored, um, what the heck, the Bentley thing, the Paragon R. This is for, for doing the casino mission, so that's here, because it was a freebie. Um, of these, the one that really is important is this one, is my Krieger. This is still probably, I would say, my go-to main race car if I really think I want to win. I've been, I've been using the Emirates as of late, but I mean, this is still the one for a lot of stuff. It's it's small, so it can get through some stuff. It's fast. It's got all-wheel drive. It's good. Yeah. All these are staying. I don't think we have any... Do we have any space here, right? I haven't been checking that. I'll have to go back and check to make sure nothing says empty. Hmm. And then we have the arcade. I'll swoop up and get some money in a bit, but let's see, is there any parking? There is not. There's, there's, we're all used up here. You have the room jabba jabba jabba, room jabba jabba jabba, room jabba room jabba, room jabba jabba jabba. It's a fun vehicle and it takes a lot of missiles. Useful? Eh, that that's questionable, but. We have it. Room jabba jabba jabba. Room jabba jabba jabba. Tauros, not the most fun to drive, but it is the the fastest SUV I think for what is in my realm. I don't have any access to HSW kind of things, so that's a keeper. And it is painted up like a, a Top Gear episode, as I recall, when they had one the, the, the real Lamborghini Urus. Whether it was Grand Tour or Top Gear, Top Gear, I'm not sure. 
Grand Tour or Tour Guru, or whatever I was about to say there. No, Top Gear or Grand Tour. They, that's, it was yellow. So Now, the, the Drafter 8F, which is, I think, quicker than the 9F, is just a nice car to drive. I haven't raced it in a while. But it's it's again not a top top car, but it's not bad, and it's it certainly looks nice. And yeah, you know, sometimes you just want to have a nice car to go to dinner in. You know, it's like that kind of car. You go out to see the uh, the parents, that sort of thing. Oh, the adder! You gotta have an adder, even because it is. Of course, as you know, the fastest car. No, it's not the fastest car in the game, but it, it, hell, it, people thought it was for the longest time, because it was the most expensive. It, you know, back when a million bucks was an expensive car. Now it's kind of a discount thing, but hey, glad to have it. Not getting rid of it. Ah, oh, the Zion. Now the Zion, he was king of the coupes, and it's still competitive on some tracks. And it's just a really nice car to drive. And this is one of my oldest cars. This was, I believe, grabbed off the street, redone in, in if not black, then really textured dark grays. It's a convertible. I mean, it's just, it's just nice. I like this car very much so. It's the Rancher, the Yosemite Rancher. Yeah, I'm like, kind of the whole O.J. Simpson sort of look here. It's not really accurate because that's a Bronco and this has a pickup truck. You know, as far as it was a little violent. Because I think you had rear seats and stuff in a Bronco. I don't know if you could have it this way. But still, a nice off-roader. Glad I have it. Not going anywhere anytime. Shoon. Blackfin? Yeah, Coquette Blackfin. That's another just nice driving. This, this is a better performer and more competitive in muscles than you'd think. I've, I've had some really good duels with some... Some black fins. They, they tend to move much better than you think they would. And this is, it's just a nice looking car. Definitely a keeper. You got to have an Infernus. You just do. This this Lamborghini Pagani hybrid. Done up in uh, what I think is Bruffy Orange. At least my attempt at it. Because it's one of his favorite cars. And so how could you not do your Infernus in Bruffy Orange? Yeah, it looks good. And it's got the Pokeball tail lights and, and everything. And it's a very nice driving car. Definitely a keeper. Everything in here is a keeper, by the way, just so spoiler alert. Uh, let's see, I got my my Black Knight clad super carbon stealthed out Tesseract. Which, you know, I was using this for a little while because it doesn't isn't affected by catch up, but I, I have found over time that it just doesn't quite perform well enough to get to first place usually it's a little bit it's it's it, it's a bold choice at best but we're, we're definitely going to keep it yeah it's 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 a cool car definitely has the coolness factor blista kanjo i put a lot of effort into a video talking about how this really was the best compact compact car and it was really, uh, you know, you could, especially in stunt races, you could absolutely destroy the uh, Brioso 500s and all that because it just would, it would, it pushes, but it, it handles, it doesn't snap around and it doesn't lose it in the the tubes like the Brioso does. And then eventually the club came out and just demolished it. But I mean, I've had this car for a while. I'm going to keep it. It's It's got history. I can see myself taking it out every once in a while on, you know, splits or whatever, which is the one with the uh, the compact stunt race. I think it's still doable. I think it's still competitive. So we're, we're going to keep that. And that is, that's the that's the arcade. You know what I'm going through? Trying to get all the smaller garages out of the way here. I'm going to, you know, it's things like the nightclub, they're going to get their own video because it's like they're multiple garages all grouped together. But we're, we're trying to get all of the kind of the loose ends here. This is the loose ends video before we get into the bigger videos with the large amount of cars. And of course the yellow submarine, the Kutsaka. A vehicle in and of itself, but it's a vehicle with parking. So here we have the really big, slow submersible that holds four people. And you can look around and it's glass bottom boat tour kind of stuff. You can really and then you have this other vehicle that also has four doors and goes a lot faster through the water and has missiles. 
If you have if you have the Toreador, you don't need whatever that is. What is it? The a Visa thing? I don't know. But we have them both. They're both here in the Kotaka. And you can see this one again is done up. Do I have a matchbox plate on this one? No. I did I did paint this up similar to a matchbox that I had, which is the vehicle that this was inspired by. So that's cool. And of course you go up a few stairs and you've got the sparrow. My goodness, do I fly do I do I drive or fly or do anything more than I do the sparrow? This thing is a lifesaver. It is definitely my one of my top five vehicles used. There's no question about it. You gotta love the sparrow. It just you just do. And there's this isn't even a point of, of argument. No, you, you gotta love the sparrow. And of course we have to do the auto shop here. We got anything in here? Do 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 Any cars need for work? No, no, we cleared those out. Alrighty. So you check out here, this is basically just hey. the tuner's garage. Although we have a non-tuner. I forget why I decided to put the put the cannonball run. Uh, Toreador here. This is supposed to be the black one from Cannonball, you know, the original Cannonball run. Sadly can't put the really wild exhaust that that one has. That has like one exhaust per cylinder. It's like a 12 exhaust on it, which is just bizarre. But it was a custom, it was a custom Lamborghini for that movie. And But we've got most of the key points here on the custom Toreador here for the Cannonball run one. I have three Toreadors. We have the one that we you just saw, that the red one that we, is, is Decked out a bit like Cannonball uh, 3, which is really, in, in the United States, it was called Speed Zone. Um, and that was that was a, uh, a prize reel uh, win. And then we had the other one that was up in the Hoovies Garage Garage, which is the white one. So we have white, black, and red, so all the, all the standard colors. And then it's kind of just the cavalcade of tuners vehicles, all of which are fun in their own respects. You know, this is this one. You know, we went for the for the S2 with the the Christmas theme. You've been naughty. A lot of these were obtained via you know either winning them off of the uh, off the street races or things like that. So I mean, you know, in some respects, they're 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 lower value if you try to resell them. Um, as far as what's needed, I mean. Calico is probably your best bet for any kind of street race kind of stuff. If you're doing coupe races, Previon's still up there is one of the main things you could take. If it's not the best, it may be the best. Everything that this is a real handler. This is a real hand, you know, handful. I, I, that's supposed to be the actual fastest around a track, you know, what is the, the RS Classic. But it does tend to snap around on you, so it's it's problematic. The Jester RR just looks cool. It's, it, I like these cars. This and they they decorate the place ever so well. It's just lovely. Hey. It's just lovely. And we have a car, of course, that isn't ours. Kept in here in the spray booth, so you can't take. It. Be nice if we could just drive around with that one. Like you can, like some of the stuff you have at the agency, where you can just take those, to take the uh, the agency cars out. And then we have the freak shop, which only has you know, What's up? Dax's, uh, you know, his his uh, journey here, the journey of the Dax. Which we, I think you can drive that. Can we drive that? Oh, yeah. can... oh, Is that like a thing? Yeah, you can't drive. I always thought that was something you could grab. I really did. I learned something new every day. It's just there as a decoration. What about the bike? Oh, that's a decoration too. But these you can drive. We have our delivery bike, as you can see, all decked out here and be speckled. And we've got the Fooligan be speckled uh, and liveried. Acid Lab. I tell you what, this this makes me a lot of money, and it's it's a great overall free mode vehicle. I mean, it really is nice. Extremely resistant to explosives, 
can plow right through traffic. It goes pretty quick. I honestly had to stop by and see it. I think it's still painted in the uh, in, in the standard uh, what you call it beta fish color. You got chrome over crew over chrome for the top, and then kind of red for the highlights to get the whole beta fish kind of thing there. But I forget why. I think I unlocked this uh, Fooligan's uh, livery, something like that, or I just decided it had to, have to do something. Once I, once we named it, that's what we came in. Once we named it Fool's, uh, wait, 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 Troop Think. This one has Troop Think. The other one has Fool's Gold and is done up in gold. We'll get to that in another video. But yeah, good stuff here. Very good stuff. As a matter of fact, let us check and see. How are our supplies holding up? We're out of supplies. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, hello, hey, hello. mud. Supplies. Get them. It's going to cost a bit, but I know exactly who to call. Yeah, I could have done a... Uh, I could have done a stash house raid and see if I got supplies, but for right now, let's just buy them and keep it moving. You only got like a one in six chance of that anyway. So that's going to boost production. Maybe, you know, we'll see. Production might be, you know, full up by the time, you know, before the day is out and I can do another, another run on that. Eh, it doesn't matter. And the last little honorable mention kind of a thing has got to be the salvage yard. I'm going to grab some cash. And oddly enough, that's almost exactly how much money, you know, in cash I have right now. 351. That's what you get from uh, selling the Acid Lab. So, good juncture there. Again, honorable mention because we have... These two cars were stolen. We can't really use them. You can't, like... You can inspect it, but you can't drive it. They talk about us being able to keep these. Do they mean that, well, you don't have to sell them immediately, which is what I'm doing, kind of holding them until something changes. I'm starting to think. And tell me, you know, I'm, I'm recording this January, you know, January 9th of 2024. This won't come out for a while, so months later. I'm curious as to whether or not this ends up being something that only GTA Plus members can do. Will they make it so that GTA Plus members can buy these cars? at a huge discount. So it gives you one more reason to go to GTA Plus. And of course, PC, we don't get GTA Plus, so it's just gonna, you know, eventually I'll just drive these off and get a lot of cash. But it's, uh, but not, not the value of the cars, of course. Is that what they're gonna do? I mean, you know, and, and why doesn't PC, why isn't PC being treated like, you know, an equal member with GTA, you know, with the, the GTA games on PS5 and, and Xbox, you know, one X L Q, whatever the the, the current letters are on, on Xbox. Honestly, Microsoft, you know, I guess branding doesn't matter when it's just you got that famous a thing. It's like you know, why does Coke advertise? But and Pepsi, but I do have another theory on that too. You know what I think? You know what I think? By the way, we do have the uh, the clean truck on this one. With a red five. You get it? Red five standing by. Hi, Luke. Okay. Do you know what I think? PC is going to get HSW and GTA Plus and all that kind of wonderful stuff. When they come out with an expanded and enhanced special edition GTA 5, which is not the one we own, and we have to spend another $59 to buy the same game on PC. I think that's, that's what's going to happen. I think they're, they're, they might be waiting till computers get a little bit faster, so maybe they can, you know, get, you know, try and take advantage of some hardware boost to increase the graphics or claim something. But I think it'll just be the same port with the stuff added, that, but you have to pay, the pay, you have to buy the game again to get that. I'm willing to bet that's how that goes down. Anybody with me on this? Anybody think, anybody see that coming? We'll see what happens. You see, I, like I said, I'm saying this, the words are falling out of my mouth, January 9th, 2024. We will see what happens with that. But now, 
we'll do one more garage, which I, was, I thought about making this, you know, its own thing. But I think this will just finish off this video rather nicely. And just to wrap this video up, we're going to go to the agency. Now, I'm saving the other multi-level garages for their own videos, but I think this is this will be a good way to wrap up. Obviously not my car, that is Franklin's. This is my car, which is, of course, made up just like my single-player version of Franklin's car. That's how I modified it in single-player. And so the, the concept would be that Franklin eventually put this one up on the market, maybe when he got this one, and then I got it. So here's my version of Franklin's car. Does it have the Black Knight plate? I can't really tell. It should have. That's what I have in the other thing. We have, now this is just comes with the agency. It's the company car. But you can drive it. Might not be fully specced out, but you can drive it. We wheel around. On this side you got some typical vehicles you might find in an agency such as this. Now the Speedo I can't remember exactly how, but there was some trick you had to, to, to do to get the Speedo and modify it. I can't remember if it was, it had to be in the back of an MOC or something like that. But we have a, an actual plain Jane Speedo, which is kind of a collectible, so we're going we're gonna to keep that one. We have the Hummer. What do they actually call this one? Is it the Patriot, Patriot Mill Spec? Isn't that it? I've got it mounted with the bulletproof rear uh, window here and the enhanced armor. That's not bad to drive around, really, and it is rather durable. I think it drops mines. I think it's it's a money teched up here, to some extent. It may even have the uh, the lock on jammer. Uh, so that's again, if you're gonna go do agency things, not a bad choice. This, of course, is just a rumpo, but it's done up as the hypno dancer van from the little big video hypno dancer. So it's, it's got the black paint and the. The mercenary wheels that appear in the video, basically. It's, so we have a couple delivery vans here in case we need to move some stuff around. More than that, and on. Oh, we have another Mesa Merriweather grabbed off the street kind of thing. This paint seems like it's kind of special. I'm not sure if something we can we can replicate. So we, we're keeping that just to keep it because, again, you had to have mercenaries called on you and then shoot them or something on those lines just to get this. So that that's another one I'm hanging on to. And it does seem like it fits the motif of the agency. Now this is the full up Rumpo Custom, which is one of the better vans for van racing, if you can handle the handling and the fact that it tends to flip itself over. It's done up with this kind of cool green paint job that I was so fond of for a while there, and still am. Uh, wheels are stock, I believe, so they match. So, but yeah, it's good. does that not look like it's something you'd need in an agency if all kinds of agency stuff would be going on? You could role play it that the agency's using all these vehicles, and that's how we're making all this money. So that's just you know, all kinds of stuff like that could be going on. Um, power surge is stored here, and that's just really turned into a very good bike for me. I like the fact that it can just glide forever. That's a fast bike, and I'm having pretty good luck with that. The Strider. The Strider should be one of the cars that I say, you know what, this is just a pile of crap and we're getting rid of it. But it's so weird. Even though it doesn't drive very well and it's in the sports class and it's basically nigh onto useless. It It's a bizarre kind of thing. It doesn't have really great off-road traction, I don't think. Or anything like that. Like it, it doesn't do anything other than look like a 4x4. We did take it up till yet. I don't remember how well that went. But again, not a bad office car. Just said, you know, hey, go out for hoagies. We have a couple more of them coming up. This this probably qualifies too, although it's a bit more executive. It's another Dubsta 2. I believe we used the Dubsta 2 from... Where did I have that other one? The Hoobies Garage Garage? Something along those lines. To grab this one. This is actually one of the rare grabs off the street. All chromed up. And, again, another office vehicle. Something that you could take to meetings and or just be flashy with. The Habanero! How can you not have a Habanero? And you might as well have it done up in Ron Livery kind of colors here. So we have this done up in Ron Livery because... I mean, this is a car that in 
inspired a uh, its own car on Project Homecoming, the Habanero Roll. Just as this, as they have a Jelly Rumpo over here for the hands for flipping over. So both of these kind of bouncy, flippy cars, but they're not bad to drive. FQ2. I've always liked the FQ2. I think it's a good driver. Again, we have it in Ron Livery because that was kind of... I did these two cars around the same time. That was the mood I was in. Again, you know, just, you know, general, hey, grab the keys out of the box and take a car and go someplace for the office. And I believe these are both removed. I'm not sure. I could look. There's so much, so many cars removed. So we're going to keep those here as well. Working our way downstairs. Working our way downstairs, looking at even weirder cars. Okay. This is, now it's not the way it looks like a 190, but it's not. This is the DS 300R. The 300R is, an, it's, it's speedy. I think it spins the tires a bit much for kind of the sportiness that it has. Um, but it, uh, it, it handles pretty good. It's, I think it's a full-up Imani Tech vehicle. Gasoline power, so it doesn't have like all of the explosive proofness. So it has a good amount of explosive proofness into it. So it's a good set of wheels. Champion. Man, this is a mediocre super. I could see selling the champion, but it does look so good. Performance, it does not, its performance does not match its looks. But its looks, I think, you know, and this is a very subjective thing, are pretty darn good. So we'll hang on to that. Look at this gold mobile. The green wood. It's just so 70s. You gotta love it. Again, another Imani Tech car. No, I'm quite fond of that one. It just, just for, is what it is. It's really very good. Uh, this one doesn't have the armor on it. Because you can actually see the armor when the armor is added. But this is just to look cool. And cruise around a bit. This one, you know, again... Buffalo, you know, S, is this the STX? Am I getting the right, right letters? Yeah, STX. Buffalo STX. This is for those of us who do not have a Monitech Tech capability, on Tech, uh, HSW capabilities. This is as good as it gets. I don't know if the new Dominator GT might be better, but it ain't going to be better by much. This is such a good car. Gonna stay. Ragarum forever here. Let's just go there. The Riata, am I saying it right? This is right. Yes, okay, I didn't screw that up. The Riata, look, this is another case of, just look at it. I mean, it is a good off-roader. It looks cool. This kind of weird, funky paint job I put on it, I'm really fond of it. Stay in here forever. Let's loop around. This isn't mine. This is, of course, Amani's. Let's get the staff parking here. Preserved for staff, that's Amani's bike. We can we can appreciate that kind of this pink highlights on the black, kind of nice. These next two cars are kind of well, they're not kind of they're fail race homages. The pink car. Of and here's your future Black Knight doing some editing, and I don't know what the heck happened to the rest of this clip. It's like hey, and the pink car, and then nothing. It just goes zip. That's it. I don't know why I would have stopped it at that point and then not recorded the rest of the thought, but that's what happened. But at any rate. Uh, pink car, that's supposed to be like a target car. If I ever get to be a hunter, you need a pink car. So that, like, you know, the guy being hunted could blow it up. And if I'm ever the hunted, well, this would be my super sleeper. Looks like traffic, but it actually has a turbo. I might have to take the turbo off. Because, you know, your, uh, your exhaust will light up, and that might, that might bring them out. So you might just have to, you know live on the uh, the engine upgrade and not the turbo upgrade. We'll have to do that just to settle it down. Or do we just say heck with it and leave it up as a turboed up thing? If we get into a chase, it's better. I don't know. But anyway, uh, the odds of me ever being in a fail race are pretty much zero. In any kind of fail race video, let alone to survive the hunt. Um, fairly certain they're on PlayStation anyway. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's not gonna not gonna happen. But I can I can fantasize, and there's, I think they're two removed cars anyway. Um, I'm almost certain the the uh, the radius is. I'd have to look. But at any rate, that's the story. And these I have these as a little homage to that channel. If you haven't seen uh, the Fail Race channel, 
Uh, Casino Royale is the, the lead uh, personality behind that. And th this is from a game mode they do where they turn off the names of over the players. They turn off the maps. The uh, the host gets to pretend to be an NPC and they have to find him. It's a really fascinating, uh, fascinating gameplay experience. If you just look up Survive the Hunt, you'll find it. And I highly, uh, highly suggest that you do. Okay, now back to uh, where we left off. And then we have the Vaca, which I can't remember how I got this. It's probably there's a video about it someplace. I think I think I got it out of one of the shops. It's a removed car. It's got pretty paint. And you really how much you can't have too many Lamborghini kind of styled cars here. So this isn't going anywhere. So no more cars sold here today. We have this spot. So that's one more spot. So between all the video the, the videos that have happened so far in this review, I have two parking spots. Yeah, so things are still extremely tight. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to, I'm going to do the next few videos. I, I think I'm going to do standalone videos on the, the multi-level parking garages, like the nightclub, uh, the, uh, the arena arena workshops, and Eclipse Boulevard. So th that's what you have to look forward to. We're going to go through all of those, and then we'll have a pretty good idea of what we have. On that note, ladies and gentlemen... This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.